So as you're building up your tree, you don't want to use too many lines of code. And so one thing to notice is I don't really need a name for node one. I do need to create the new node, but it just needs to be on the left of this original node. So what I did is I just set the node left equal to the new node, the node right equal to a new node, and I didn't actually have to create a variable for the new node. It's not gonna disappear because the left and the right uh, of the original node are storing these new nodes. Now to build the next node down is a little more tricky. So if I just did node dot, well, let's be lazy and duplicate some code. If I just do node left equals uh, maybe 50 and run it, still printing sideways. And so you see 50 actually replaced that. If I want 50 to be underneath that node, I need to do something a little bit different. So I got 20 here. I want 50 to be below 20. So node dot left dot left and then run that. And now you can see to the left of 20 is 50. And I could node.left.right equals, and you'll see the 50 move a little bit right there. All right, this is how you should be building your tree up. And if I did want to go node.left.left .left equals 70, there we go. So this is how you should be building up your tree to print different shaped trees. I'm not going to give you more hints than this, uh, but you can build different trees, and I probably should call this now a tree. It's, it is a node, but uh, let me just call this... I'm going to build multiple ones, so I'll call this one node 1, and then for my second tree, I'll call this tree 1, and then that way I can build something similar. Node 2 will build tree 2, node 3 will build tree 3, etc, etc. So I can build lots of nodes, lots of trees uh, in the code right here. And of course, make sure you print each of your trees out as you do it, so that you know your tree is actually the shape and contains the values you want it to contain.